टुडे आवर डिस्कशन चैप्टर इज ह्यूमन जेनेटिक्स एंड इट्स हिस्ट्री एंड डेवलपमेंट ह्यूमन जेनेटिक्स मीन्स जेनेटिक्स ऑफ मैन ह्यूमन जेनेटिक्स इज बोथ अप्लाइड एंड फंडामेंटल साइंस एज ए फंडामेंटल साइंस इट इज अ पार्ट ऑफ जेनेटिक्स द ब्रांस ऑफ साइंस that examines the laws and stories transmission and realization of information for development and functions of living organisms before going to discuss about human genetics we should know the term genetics the term genetics derive from the greek word gen which means to become or to grow something so the science of inheritance is called genetics genetics is the branch of science which deals with the study or process of inheritance that is heredity and variation the science of genetics is generally said to have been founded by the publication of mendel's paper in 1865 and to have become established with each rediscovery in 1900 man being the most intelligent creature is very curious about himself he find that the children of the families tend to resemble their parents they inherit the physical and mental traits from either of the parents or both the parents moreover the individual of a particular human population group show some general similarities among themselves these similarities are produced due to inheritance of parental characters some inherited properties of man are biologically transmitted from generation to generation these heredity and variation were studied under the science of genetics in fact genetics is the study of inherited characteristics while heredity is a process that determine the capacity of an individual to grow and develop as a result of interaction between the inherited traits and environmental factors study of heredity throw sufficient light to understand the origin of man and the significance of races genetic study investigate the mechanism of heredity and unveil the internal features of human evolution human genetics is a young science which was coined by william bateson in 1905 but the inception of this science occurred and happens earlier than this date three botanists dev rise from holland Corens from Germany and von Schemer from Austria identified the basic principle of genetics in the year 1900. They worked independent of each other. None of them got the credit because the science of genetics was already born in 1866 through the effort of Gregor Johann Mendel of Bern in Austria. Those botanists rediscovered the work after 34 years. The scientific basis of heredity kept more than 3000 years after the writing of the Hindu scriptures. Cameras had shown that pollen was needed for the production of a plant as the introduction of pollen into the ovary of a plant could produce a new plant in the field of animal life the first breakthrough was achieved by dutch physician reinhard de gaaf who had 
demonstrated the presence of ovary in the ovarian follicle of the female. This it provided the basis of his theory that both parents contributed was the birth of a child. In 1677, Hum had discovered spermatozoa in the semen of the animal and communicated the fact to Anton van Leeuwenhoek. Leeuwenhoek thought that semen was responsible for the birth of a fetus. The physical characters and development of variations in generations were sought to be explained by French scientist Jean Baptiste Lemarque. Lemarque has stated that the variations in animals as regards their habits and physical characteristics could be due to the acquired behavior and the condition of life of their ancestors only. He had emphasized the theory of inheritance of acquired characters and the loss of organs owing to disuse. The founder of the modern evolutionary theory, Charles Darwin, suggested that the tissues and the cells of an organism trio of minute particles or granules distributed by the blood and they were present in all the tissues and organs of the body. The particles were also present in the germ cells which get them from all the organs of the body. They were affected by the environment and determined by body characters after being inherited, that is, changes were post-adaptive to environment. The gameables were mixtures of many materials which form the body. Mendel did not know that he had discovered the universal laws of heredity, but unfortunately his work did not attract the attention it deserved in his lifetime. Even Darwin did not take congruence of his great contemporary biological discovery, which could have undoubtedly removed his misconception on the hereditary mechanism of character in connection with his theory of evolution. The role of heredity and environment as regards the characters of an individual has always been debatable. In his efforts to find out methods of improvement of the human race, Francis Galton, a cousin of Darwin, tried to distinguish between effects of environment and those of heredity. He had introduced his famous twin analysis method for this purpose. He had shown that quantitative character, who said normal distribution were also inherited.
two years before Karl Marx had published his Das Kapital, Galton had shown how human quality could be improved through human heredity. And Marx had shown how human behavior could be improved through the external environment in society. Thomas Hunt Morgan had noticed that one of the flies had white eyes when red was their normal color. Studying the heredity of this, he could identify the genes responsible for the character in the X chromosome of the fly. Morgan was the first of the illustrious geneticists who received the Nobel Prize. Carl Lansteiner had identified the human blood group and the multiple alleles of the blood group genes A, B, and O. He had also discovered the MN and RS blood group since the inheritance of human blood group genes was practically pure and unaffected by environment. This discovery has provided very important tools for research in human genetics in addition to their practical day-to-day -day use in medicine. Lansteiner was awarded the Nobel Prize in 1930. Important contribution to studies in the population genetics were Ronald Fisher, Zabius Haldane and Sewell Wright. Fisher's contribution were outstanding statistical aspects of agriculture and biology, including genetics. Haldane had contributed methods of gene mapping ideas of linkage and calculation of mutation rates. Wright was the earliest to study consanguinity and he had also worked on selection. Hermann Joseph Muller had found a method of causing mutation at will. He had opened up numerous lines of research in genetics. Linus Pauling found that in patient of sickle cell anemia, the hemoglobin different from that the normal person. The hemoglobin of the heterozygous of sickle cell trait consisted partly of HBA and partly HBS. In recognition of his work on protein structure, Linus Pauling was awarded the Nobel Prize in 1954. Pauling again received the Nobel Prize for his report for world peace after the Second World War. The cells from the zygote to the adult stages are of the same genotype. Yet, in the adult state, the organism gets differentiated anatomically and physiologically. Jacob, Monod, and Loaf put forward the hypothesis that some mechanism existed in the cell itself, which ordered the changes and turned the gene on and off that is regulated the gene action. They showed this type regulation in lactose metabolism to glucose and galactose by a genetic system. In E. coli, with inducer and repressor enzymes, they term it as operon for lactose metabolism or simple leg operon. This model appears to explain the regulatory system in all bacteria. The repeat development of human genetics during recent decades has created many interactions with other fields of science and medicine. 
for the sake of convenience of study of modern human genetics have divided into following branches. These are morphogenetics, cytogenetics, population genetics, behavioral genetics, ecogenetics, pharmacogenetics, clinical genetics, molecular genetics, somatic cell genetics, developmental genetics, reproductive genetics, formal genetics, immunogenetics, biochemical genetics, and genetic of epidemiology. The science of genetics had an uncertain beginning. The thoughts and efforts of scientific worker through many years had been able to reach the present level of development. Those scientists belong to many races and to many countries. Some achievements in the field of biology have been obtained and some light has been thrown. Yet the ocean of the unknown that remains to be explored is too vast even to conceive.